So the drop saw's out again, and this time I've just got some 9045 framing pine lined up and just uh, cutting some. some six meter lengths to the length that I need. Um, the idea was to attach it to an existing fence on a side courtyard on this property to extend the fence up to provide more privacy for from the neighbors. Uh, and then the idea was gonna to be to grow some vines up there over time and run some tension wires along the top of the fence and train it to um, train it across the length of the new frame. So I'm just uh, attaching that now as you can see. And then to do the uh, horizontal um, top piece or top plate, I guess you can call it. I just had to uh, laminate two of these together. Um, with my trusty pass load framer, um, making, making sure it's all flush and, and straight. Some of this pine can be a bit um, warpy at times. So just making sure that it's all nice and flush and straight so that when it goes on, um, we don't have any issues and you get a nice clean run through from one end to the other. And now just with some bugle headed screws um, just pretty much just anchoring them down to the top of the post that you saw me put in earlier so yeah and it all worked out quite straight which was nice so what this video won't show you is the gap between the top of the existing fence and the new framing pine they've installed um, I was going to drill out through there and add in a tension wire uh, between the two in the, in the daylight gap um, and just run some tension wire through the whole length of the fence and then train some vines along that. 